Kujawsko-Pomorska Eszkoła. Witamy Was serdecznie. Drodzy uczniowie, Pan Maciej Doksa jest z nami w studio. Poprowadzi dla Was lekcję angielskiego. Przyniósł z sobą gar, cały potraw i różnych smakołyków z różnych krajów, bo o, lek, bo o tym dzisiaj na lekcji angielskiego. Właśnie, Panie Macieju? Zasadniczo tak, ale my dziś będziemy gotować, więc jeszcze żadnych potraw nie przyniosłem, tylko garnki i przybory do gotowania. No to zobaczmy, co tam pan przyniósł. Good afternoon. So, as I have already said, today we are going to cook. We are going to talk about cooking and generally about food preparations, about things which are connected with it. Uh, so, let's take a look at uh, these words. These are the words which are well, generally connected with cooking. When you want to make a dish, when you want to cook something, and you don't really remember how to do it, or you don't know how to do it, or because it's a new dish, a dish that you have never made before, you need a recipe. What's a recipe? Recipe is basically a set of information with ingredients, so products that you need to cook this dish and also with information, with instructions how to do it, uh, what action to take to uh, turn these ingredients into the complete dish. So recipe to jest um, przepis kulinarny. Yes? You have to be careful because in English there are uh, two other words which are very easily confused and often confused with the word recipe. So recipe is for cooking, yes? for making some food products um, and so on and so on. There is a word receipt, that's a ipt, receipt, uh, which is the piece of paper you get when you buy something, czyli paragon. So you uh, better not confuse these two. A cookbook. What's a cookbook? Well, a cookbook is a book uh, with recipes, with a lot of recipes, with pictures of dishes and recipes. Ingredients. These are the food products uh, that we put together, that we process in order to uh, create a final dish. Utensils. Utensils are all these tools that we have in the kitchen that we use for cooking and food processing, things like knives, forks um, and other things that we are going to talk about utensils in detail uh, later on. A cook or a chef? Well, these two words in English basically mean kuchasz. It's not totally the same, because a cook can be just a person who cooks, a chef is the most important cook, for example, in the restaurant kitchen, who is in charge of the whole kitchen, who is the boss. Yes? Czyli uh, chef to dosłownie chef kuchni, jest to kucharz, ale mający funkcję szefa kuchni, czyli ten najważniejszy kucharz. So, uh, when we talk about home cooking, we usually say that somebody is a good cook. Uh, but when we talk about professional restaurant cooking, then we have cooks and chefs. Chef being the chief cook, the uh, most important one. Uh, <clears throat> you have to be careful, because the word cook is very often confused uh, with the word cooker. Yes, uh, Because we have teacher, we have writer, we have, um, <clears throat> I don't know, uh, bricklayer and other jobs. So very often people think that Kuchasz is cooker. No, cooker is a device, is this thing that we have in the kitchen that we use to heat, uh, fry or cook or boil um, the uh, food. Czyli cooker to jest kuchenka, uh, w sensie taka uh, płyta tak, do podgrzewania, uh, to jest właśnie uh, cooker. Uh, instructions. Instructions, no, to są wskazówki, polecenia, how to cook something. So recipe, as I have already said, recipe includes ingredients with the amounts of ingredients and the instructions how to process the ingredients to make a dish. 
All right, so first of all, let's talk about utensils and equipment. In the kitchen we have equipment, so let's say all kinds of machines or devices, uh, appliances which are used, uh, usually they are electrical, electrically powered, and we also have some utensils, so tools which are usually not uh, electrically powered that we use just manually. So, frying pan. Frying pan is this dish that we use to fry meat, fish, uh, I don't know, vegetables and other things. To jest po prostu patelnia, patelnia do smażenia. Można używać samego słówka pan, można całego wyrażenia frying pan. A pot. Pot is definitely the basic uh, thing in the kitchen. Is this thing into which you put water and the ingredient and then you boil it. Czyli po prostu garnek. There are different types of pots. Baking form. Uh, you know, when you want to bake something, like make a cake or uh, bread, you have to use a special uh, metal um, form, which is called baking form, czyli taka właśnie formka do pieczenia. Chopping board or cutting board. You know what cut means? So chop is very similar word, czyli się cut, and chopping board is this piece of wood or plastic. Nowadays we also have plastic ones. Uh, which we use to chop things on. Czyli po prostu deska do krojenia, deska do siekania i tak dalej, i tak dalej. Podkładka też może być taka do krojenia. A bowl. A bowl is a type of pot. It can be glass, can be made of glass, made of plastic, made of uh, some uh, ceramics, uh, which is usually rather big, but there are also smaller ones, and we put some things into it and we usually eat from it. So, miska. Yeah, simply a bowl is a miska. Food processor or blender. Of course, it's not the same thing. Uh, food processor to jest robot kuchenny. Uh, blender to blender, po prostu. So these are two uh, electric appliances uh, which we use in the kitchen to process food, to mix food, to cut food. Uh, yeah. A cooker, yes. I have already explained that a cooker is this thing uh, which is gas powered or it can be electrically powered um, that we uh, use to heat or to boil or to fry uh, some food. Uh, we put pots on it, we put frying pan on it, it produces heat, you know, uh, and it heats things up. Czyli jest to po prostu kuchenka. Na tak zwanej kuchence można powiedzieć płyta grzejna, bo też tak czasami się mówi. A stove. Stove to jest piec. I teraz, uh, usually a stove is the word which we uh, use for the old type of uh, thing that was uh, heated by burning wood or burning coal, czyli taki piec, but also a stove could be uh, uh, this gas stove, czyli taki, uh, to się mówi, kocher na to się mówi, to jest uh, taki turystyczny, kuchenka turystyczna też może być. Uh, I również na kuchenkę też czasami mówi się stove. An oven. What is an oven? An oven is usually under the uh, cooker. Uh, it's like a small cabinet with the glass door and you put food into it and you bake it or roast it. It creates high temperature inside and it can bake or roast things. To jest piekarnik. An oven. Tutaj przestrzegam uh, wymowa uh, bardzo często jest źle wymawiane to słowo nie oven, nie oven, tylko oven, tak? Tam na początku bardziej słuchać taką samogłoskę a niż o. A na pewno nie owen, to już <laughs> absolutnie nie. All right, cutlery. This is a category of things uh, which are usually made of metal. Sometimes could be plastic, uh, but it's usually metal. Uh, they are used for eating or for cutting. Uh, food that we eat. So a spoon, łyżka, usually it means the big one, the one that you eat soup with. Teaspoon is the small one that you use for uh, stirring uh, some drinks like coffee or tea, łyżeczka po prostu. A fork, czyli widelec, a knife, czyli <laughs> a knife, czyli nóż. Przepraszam, już teraz tutaj widzę, uh, knife jest źle, oczywiście źle napisane, tak? W liczbie mnogiej przez V się pisze knives. Tutaj absolutnie knife powinno być przez F napisane. Uh, 
nie wiem dlaczego tak napisałem, przyznaję szczerze. A spoonful of sugar. Bardzo często, jeżeli mówimy o takiej małej ilości czegoś, na przykład łyżeczka cukru, to nie używamy samego wyrażenia spoon, nie mówimy a spoon of sugar, tylko a spoonful of sugar, to full. Na końcu oznacza, że chodzi nam o ilość, a nie o łyżkę zrobioną z cukru. Tak? To nie jest łyżka z cukru, tylko łyżka cukru, czyli chodzi nam właśnie o ilość. All right, the next category, crockery. Crockery are things which are uh, used to put food in or on when we are going to eat it. Uh, po polsku zastawa kuchenna. Wcześniej mieliśmy, no właśnie, wcześniej mieliśmy cutlery, to były sztuczce. Crockery to jest tak zwana zastawa. Czyli, co to jest zastawa? W razie gdyby ktoś nie wiedział, talerze, podstawki, kubki, um, filiżanki. Uh, these things are usually made of uh, some uh, of, of clay, of ceramics. They are ceramic. Uh, okay, so let's take a look at them. Plate. Plate, czyli po prostu talerz. A cup, czyli filiżanka. Bowl, miska. Saucer, to jest uh, spodek, podstawek. Dlatego mówimy flying saucers, latające spotki. When you talk about UFO, you know, the extraterrestrials, the, the aliens. So we use the word saucer. Saucer. Podstawek. A mug, kubek, China. That's an interesting word. Of course, when you spell this word with a capital C, it means the country, China, the country, the People's Republic of China. Uh, but, as you can see here, this word uh, here is spelled with a uh, uh, lowercase c. So, Small C, let's say, colloquially. Uh, what, what does it mean? It means porcelana, porcelanowy. To w tym przypadku jest albo rzeczownik, który oznacza porcelana lub zastawa porcelanowa, albo po prostu jest to przymiotnik porcelanowy. So, when you say it's a China cup, to nie oznacza to, że to jest chińska filiżanka, tylko jest to filiżanka z porcelany, porcelanowa filiżanka. Gdyby była chińska, to z dużej litery napisalibyśmy a Chinese cup. Tak? Natomiast China tutaj oznacza porcelanowy lub porcelana zastawa. So it's simply, you could also say it's another word for crockery, China. Ceramics, no to są rzeczy zrobione z ceramiki, ceramika. So um, crockery is usually made of ceramics, but not necessarily. Could be made of metal, could be made of other things, plastic. All right, utensils, so things that we use manually in the kitchen to process food. Uh, grates, well, I don't know why I put it in the plural, it should be great. Oh, greater, okay, it should be greater, now I know what I meant, it should be greater. Uh, greater, okay, let's say that you have some cheese, let's say you have Parmesan cheese, and you have just made pizza, and you would like to put some cheese on the pizza, or you have some spaghetti and you want to put this parmesan on spaghetti of course you don't put a piece of parmesan on spaghetti because that would be weird you have to grate it to turn it into these small chips small pieces so you grate it great greater uh, to jest tarka tak jak powiedziałem tu zamiast s na końcu powinno być r najwyraźniej nie trafiłem w klawisz spatula Let's imagine that you are frying something. For example, I don't know, pancakes or some fish. And when you fry pancakes, when you fry fish, you can't just fry it only on one side because on one side it will be burnt, on the other side it will probably be raw, not fried. So you have to turn it over. How do you do it? Of course, you don't use your hand. <laughs> you have to use a spatula. So spatula, to jest taka, no właśnie, jak to się po polsku nazywa, szpatułka, chyba tak, e, taka płaska mm, szpatułka, którą używacie do przekładania na drugą stronę rzeczy, które najczęściej smażymy, spatula. Ladle, when you have soup and you have the soup in the pot or in a huge bowl and you want to put the soup on the plates, what do you use? You use a ladle, to jest po polsku tak 
ładnie się to nazywa, chochla. Tak? Um, też jest jakaś inna nazwa jeszcze na to, ale nie pamiętam. Peeler. Ok. When you have potatoes. Uh, potatoes have this kind of skin, which is kind of hard and dirty and you are not supposed to eat it. So you have to peel it. Peel, czyli obrać. What do you use? Of course, a peeler. Czyli jest to obieraczka, skrobaczka, różne są nazwy na to. Scales. When you prepare food, uh, you have ingredients, you have this uh, recipe. Uh, in the recipe you will read how much of the ingredients you have to use. And this how much is usually given in grams as a weight or it could also be given as a volume, objętość. How do you know how much something weighs? How heavy it is? Well, you use scales and it will give you the information how many grams it has, it weighs. Czyli jest to waga, tak? scales. Measuring jug. As I said, you either weigh the ingredients or you have to measure the volume of the ingredient. For example, when you want to know how much milk, how much water, how much juice uh, to add, you it's a liquid, so you have to measure uh, the volume. How do you do it? Well, you usually put it into special container, which we call measuring jug. No, to jest taki pojemnik z podziałką, tak? Dosłownie dzwanek z podziałką, e, która podaje nam objętość. All right, strainer or colander. You're cooking pasta for spaghetti. You have cooked the pasta. Pasta is ready, but it's still in the pot and it's in water. So, of course, you want to eat pasta, but you don't want to eat this water that's in. So, what do you use? You use a strainer. The strainer or the colander, it separates things that you have been boiling from water you have been boiling in. Czyli po polsku tak zwany cedzak, durszlak, 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 tam różne nazwy są, ale generalnie to. Sieve. Przepraszam, źle. Sieve. It's a strange word. It has very strange pronunciation. Even I have to think and remember to pronounce it correctly because it doesn't look like it, but the pronunciation is sieve. And this is the thing that you use also to uh, separate things which are usually uh, in mass, in bulk. For example, mm, you want to use, for example, flour, monke. But this flour sometimes has some little lumps, grudki. So you put it in the sieve and you just move the sieve and the bigger lumps will stay in the sieve and the nice, clean flour will go down. To jest po prostu po polsku sitko. Sito, sitko. Rolling pin. <clears throat> when you want to make some, something out of dao, dao to jest ciasto, very often you have to roll the dao flat. Yes? For example, when you make pizza, I think they also roll it, at, at least at first, they have to roll it flat. And you use a rolling pin, czyli tak zwany wałek do ciasta. Can opener. This is the utensil that you use to open cans or tins. So open metal containers, czyli otwierać do puszek. Corkscrew. When you have usually alcoholic beverages, like wine, for example, Sometimes, not always, wine has a cork. It's closed with a cork. So you have to open it using a special device called corkscrew. Cork to korek, screw to śruba. Śruba, którą wkręcamy w korek. Czyli śru, nie śrubokręt. Otwieracz do wina. To ma swoją jakąś nazwę, ale zapomniałem. Szczerze powiem. Korkociąg. Korkociąg. No właśnie, korkociąg. Otwierać do wina. Bottle opener. Of course, when you have bottles and you have some caps, bottle caps, czyli kapsle 
uh, in uh, English we use bulb opener, czyli otwierasz do butelek. All right, so these are the utensils, the machines, the appliances that you use. Now let's talk about some action, uh, cooking action. Bake. What does it mean to bake? Well, uh, bake, we almost always, not always, but usually we bake things which are made from dough, czyli z ciasta. So when you produce cakes, cookies, uh, pizza, you bake it. To jest piec. Najczęściej ciasto, ale nie zawsze. Są niektóre też e, potrawy, które nie są ciastem, a też mówi się bake. Na przykład e, baked potatoes. Roast potatoes, baked potatoes. E, też można mówić. Fry. We have already talked about frying pan. Patelnia, więc fry to jest smażyć. Simmer. Dusić. Oczywiście nie dusić człowieka, tylko e, na małym ogniu coś gotować. Tak podgotowywać to jest właśnie simmer. Steam, steam to para wodna, czyli gotować na parze. Roast. You put things in the oven, usually, and it's usually almost always meat. And this heat inside, you know, makes it uh, ready to eat. Roast to jest piec, uh, ale praktycznie zawsze mięso. Tak? Roast chicken, kurczak z rożna, spieczony kurczak. Boil is to cook something in water, czyli gotować w wodzie. Smoke, wędzić. We don't often do it in our kitchen. We usually do it in some special uh, smoking uh, rooms or smoking houses. Uh, heat up. Well, podgrzewać. Easy. And to grill something, the Polish word is the same, grillować. Okay, now uh, things that we do with a knife. You cut things, wiadomo, slice. Kroić plasterki, kroić kromki. Dice, kroić w kostkę, bo dice to kostka do gry, więc dice to jest właśnie kroić taką kosteczkę. Uh, chop, siekać. And spread, rozsmarować, rozprowadzić coś. We usually do it with a knife, but not necessarily. Crush, crush, czyli zgnieść, zmiażdżyć, wycisnąć. For example, we crush garlic. Peel, we have talked already about the peeler, to jest obierać. Great, we have talked about a grater, to jest ucierać, na tarce ucierać, zetrzeć. Squeeze, you squeeze the lemon, you squeeze the juice out of something, to jest wyciskać coś. Remove, usunąć, for example, when you use fruit, very often you have to remove the, uh, the stones. Uh, czyli uh, pestki. Um, you also add some ingredients, czyli dodawać. When you have some liquid and you add this liquid, we say that you pour the liquid, czyli nalewać. Whip the eggs or whip the cream. To jest ubijać. Pamiętajcie, bita śmietana to nigdy nie jest beaten cream, tylko whipped cream. A whip to jest dosłownie chłostać, tak? No bo ta czynność tak trochę przypomina jakby chłostanie. Uh, whip the egg whites, czyli ubić białka. Whip the cream, czyli ubić śmietany. Knead the dough. To jest wyrabiać, zagniatać ciasto takie surowe. Stir. When something is cooking in, the, in a pot and you don't want this thing to burn, especially at the bottom of the pot, you have to stir it from time to time. To jest mieszać. Z tym, że to jest mieszać, żeby się nie przypaliło najczęściej, tak? W takim znaczeniu. E, mieszać zupę, mieszać sos, coś takiego. Mix to jest mieszać również, ale w sensie, gdzie mamy różne składniki i chcemy, żeby one się ze sobą jakoś połączyły, tak? Albo żeby była to taka w miarę, powiedzmy, jednolita mieszanina, czyli na przykład sałatka. Dlatego mówimy mix the salad, ale stir the soup. Tak? Sprinkle. Albo posypać coś, so you can sprinkle something with some spices or with pepper, with salt, or pokropić with something, yes, with orange juice, for example, or vinegar. Roll out. We already talked about uh, rolling pin. So what do you do with it? You roll out the dough. To jest rozwałkować, tak, na płasko. Roll flat, roll out. Measure. Zmierzyć. 
way zważyć. When you prepare food, also amounts are important, czyli ilości. A spoonful of, we've already talked about this, czyli łyżka czegoś. A pinch of, a pinch of salt, for example, szczypta czegoś. A glass of something, a pound of something. Remember, in America and England, they still use their own uh, units of measure. So pound to jest funt czegoś. Funt to 0,45 kg. So a pound of something. Uh, an ounce, a, a propos, właśnie zauważcie, że skrót taki od e, jednego funta to jest bardzo dziwny, bo jest LB, tak? Jeden LB to jest jeden funt wagowy. An ounce of something, skrót OZ, to jest uncja czegoś, również jest to używane, około 30 gram, tak jak widzicie 28,35 gram. Handful of, to jest garść czegoś, a dollop of, to jest, no różnie, to może być taka łycha czegoś, e, trochę czegoś, jak się, dołóż trochę masła, tak? No to jest to taka bliżej nieokreślona ilość, z grubsza, tak jakbyście dużą łychą na, 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 e, nałożyli, to to jest taki właśnie dollop of something. Textures, tekstury, co to znaczy tekstury? No to znaczy jaka e, ta żywność, czy ta potrawa jest e, w dotyku, a głównie chodzi w, w tak organoleptycznie, tak? czyli w ustach, jak się ją czuje. Smooth, to jest gładki, bez grudek. Runny, a rzadki, cieknący, wodnisty może być. Thick, gęsty, thin, rzadki. Sticky, you know, lepki, klejący się. Delicate, delikatny, hard, twardy. Crunchy, you know, crunch chips. Crunchy to jest um, crunchy to jest chrupki, chrupiący, crumbly, kruszący się, crumbly bread, for example, crumbly cakes. Chewy, usually we talk about meat, that we say that meat is chewy, it means it's kind of hard and you have to really chew it for a long time. Chew to rzuć, chewy to jest taki żylasty, twardy. Lumpy, lumps to grudki, więc lumpy, grudkowaty, taki właśnie. Tender. Tender means more or less the same as delicate. Usually you use this when you describe meat. So it's the opposite of chewy or hard. Creamy. No, kremowy, kremisty. Taki właśnie. Tastes. Uh, there are some basic tastes. Tastes to są smaki, ale te takie ogólne, bazowe. Sweet, czyli słodki. Uh, savory is the opposite of sweet. A uh, po polsku się mówi nie... Właśnie, zawsze tego słowa zapominam. Nie pikantny, tylko <śmiech> a, nie słodki po prostu. Nie, zapomniałem, jakie jest polskie słowo na to savory, ale no, potrawa albo jest słodka, albo nie jest słodka. Tak? Jest jakaś pikantna, ostra i tak dalej, i tak dalej. Nie, to nie jest kwaśny. To jest, to jest takie specyficzne słowo po polsku, które zawsze mi wypada z głowy przy savory. Sour to jest kwaśny, bitter, gorzki, bland, bez smaku, mdły, Spicy or hot to jest uh, gorący. Also, when you talk food, you have some impressions of the food. Yes, you say what you think about this food. So, food can be delicious, pyszny, mouth-watering, taki od którego ślinka cieknie. So, it means the same as delicious, mouth-watering food. Delectable also means the same as um, delicious, wyborny. Tasteful, again the same, smaczny. Bland, tak jak mówiłem, nijaki. Tasteless is the same. Nijaki, bez smaku. Disgusting and revolting. Obrzydliwy, odrzucający, wstrętny. Ok. So, I think that's more or less it about cooking. Uh, I think that this vocabulary should uh, help you in reading the recipes and being able to uh, prepare food or understand cooking programs which are very you know, popular right now. Thank you very much and goodbye.